most of my friends they are surprised when I tell them that I only trade for about less than 4 hours a week because they know that I make a lot of money from trading while they are out there slaving their ass off working a 9 to 5 job and some of them have like a monthly salary that is lesser than what I make in a day. I'm at a point in my trading career where everything is just clockwork. Everything is just a masterpiece, an art. From the moment I analyze the charts and enter the trade until the moment I get out of the trade. Now, I don't say this to flex or show off. I say this to inspire you that one day you can achieve what I have achieved for myself. But it's not gonna be easy. It can literally take you years and years of hard work to do so because there is no such thing as an overnight success in trading. I always believe that trading is a hard way to get rich quick fast because it is a skill that takes time to be learned. So I was with my friend yesterday who had just started trading, right? He just started forex trading. He's a complete beginner and he's been trading for about one to two months now. So we were just hanging out and I realized that he keep on taking out his phone and just checking the charts to see how his trades are doing, whether he's making a floating profit or a floating loss. So at the end of the day, we sat down and we're just like chilling at the benches. And then I pull out my MetaTrader 4, right? I pull out my MetaTrader 4 to see how are my trades doing, right? And then I saw that I'm up about 2K at that point of time because I was shorting gold. I'm still in that live trade right now, which you can see right here. You can see this is purely live account for all the mother efforts who don't believe that I trade live. But basically this was the first time that I pulled out my charts on that day. I pulled out my MetaTrader 4. Before that, I wasn't like constantly checking my phone to see how my trades are doing. So he saw my profits and he was just like, wow Brad, you are such a good trader. I lost $100 today while well, you're up $2,000. How do you do it? I told him that, bro, I'm not a good trader. I'm an average trader with an average win rate. But there's one thing that I do that you do not do. And that is to trust your analysis. And that's the moral of this story. There is no point constantly staring at the charts or your meta trader phone unless you are a scalper. If you are a day trader or a swing trader, set and forget. What that means is that once you enter the trade, set your stop loss, set your take profit, and forget about the trade and let the trade play out by itself. So stop checking your meta trader fall every five minutes. If you keep on doing this, you're just gonna get anxious and you're gonna get emotional because you are affected by the daily highs and lows of the market. An example is that, let's say you went in for a buy for EURUSD and then you start seeing the price going against you, like it's going down right now. And then the next thing you know, you start thinking that it's a reversal, so you close the trade. And then 30 minutes later, you check the charts again and it was actually a retracement, not a reversal. And then you start blaming yourself and think, oh, why did I get out of the trade? I'm such a bad trader, I'm a shitty trader. So I'm gonna explain why do I work four hours a week only. Firstly, it's analysis paralysis. Okay, there is such thing called analysis paralysis. Staring at the charts all the time can actually do more harm than good. So when you stare at the charts all the time, right, you will develop something called analysis paralysis, which will prevent you from executing the right trades and will cause you to lose money. Because when you're staring at charts all the time, your mind just like starts getting tired and it won't be able to think clearly and rationally. And then you start seeing patterns that doesn't work by just like randomly trading and you're just like stuck in this work mode where you're just trading and trading and trading and trading, taking trades you know shouldn't be taking and just forcing trades in general. Don't worry, you are not alone because this was exactly what I used to do. At the start of my trading career, I want to make as much money as possible, like in the shortest amount of time. So what I want to do is to trade every single day because if you can make money on Monday, you can make money on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Imagine making $1,000 on Monday. Then from Monday till Friday, you have made $5,000 if you trade every single day. So that was my mindset going into trading. So I'll wake up at like 7 or 8 a.m., start trading in the morning, which is the Asian session in Singapore. And the problem with that is that trends tend to change at the start of each trading session. So during Asian session, price could be consolidating. But then during London session, price could be in the uptrend. And if I've analyzed in the charts in the morning, and I have come up with like my decision to just buy in the market, right? I can be up in profit in the Asian session and the London session. But once the New York session hit, boom, price starts reversing, going down, I will have lost whatever I have made during the London session. Which brings me to another reason, which is you should only be focusing on one trading session. So big one, 
Asian session, London session, New York session. Pick one trading session to focus on. Ideally, you want to pick the session where your favorite currency pair, the currency pairs that you're trading, move the most in. So, for example, if you're trading EURUSD, I know that EURUSD move a lot during the London session and the New York session. So you can trade either the London or the New York session. So it's really important that you just focus on one trading session alone because that helps to prevent analysis paralysis and it also helps to prevent you from giving your profits back to the market. Like I said last time, I will literally trade during the London session and be up about $1,000 during the London session. And then the New York session comes in and I lose $2,000. So I end up losing $1,000 for the day. And that is all due to greed and just not focusing on one trading sessions and just over trading in general. Now, another reason that you should only trade four hours a week is to focus on other areas of your life to achieve self-actualization. Listen to me, I know how important trading is for you but you need to work on your other areas of life. Because if you work on these other areas, your trading performance can increase as well. Example, you should have something in your day that allows you to train your body. When you train your body, when you work out, when you go to the gym, it could be like going for a short run. You don't have to run crazy marathons, nothing. When you work out, when you train your body, you also train your mind. And when you train your mind, guess what? your trading performance will become better. You'll become a much better trader because you are able to think clearly and more rationally. So to me, there is like multiple areas in your life. There's your mind, there's your body, there's your spiritual, there's your loved one, your relationships, all of these things, you should not be neglecting them, all right? Ideally, to become a top 1% trader, you need to be all-rounded, like you need to get all these areas of your life sorted out as well. So focus on developing yourself to become the best version of yourself. You don't want to be an old fat guy with a lot of money from trading, right? You want to be a handsome, a pretty, a very attractive, a very smart person who knows how to trade, who makes money. So like an all-rounded, you know? So the other day, I saw this tweet by at Comedic Beastman the other day that says, I know an entrepreneur that works 14 hours a day and is stuck living in the basement. I know an entrepreneur who works five hours a day and has built or sold three companies for $100 million each. The value isn't in how many hours you work, but where you focus your attention, awareness, or consciousness and that just make a lot of sense to me because back then when i was like starting out this whole entrepreneurship this whole like making money online journey when i was a teenager i read this book called the four hour work week by tim ferris because that was like my dream right to just work four hours in one week so that i can travel to wherever i want i can work whenever i want and i also have like a lot of freedom and this whole video comes down to the concept of it's not about how hard you work. It's about working on the right things. Now, talking about working on the right things, I have literally laid out a step-by-step -step plan on how you can actually get rich from trading. It's like this long 30 minutes guide. It's like a full complete guide where I show you how I got rich from trading and how you can replicate the exact same process. And you can find that video right here. Watch this video next. And remember, you're just one trade away.